Elise Meitner was born November 7, 1878, to Philip and Hedwig Meitner. Born in Vienna, Austria, Lise was the third of eight kids. Originally, when Lise went to school, she had trained to be a French teacher, but at the age of 23, she decided to enroll in the University of Vienna, where she took calculus, chemistry, and physics. Yeah. In 1906, Lise became the second woman in Vienna to receive a physics award. However, there were no jobs for women physicists. She had to take a job at a girls' school, and in the evenings, she did research on radioactivity with Stefan Meyer. When World War I broke out, Meitner served as an Austrian X-ray nurse. Finally, in 1917, Meitner was put in charge of her own radiophysics department at Kaiser Wilhelm Institute. For 30 years, Lise worked with Otto Hahn, a German chemist in Berlin. Usually, she did the theoretical interpretation of his experiment. However, she was a Jewish woman, and Germany was unsafe for her. She had to leave. Arriving in Sweden in the winter of 1938, six-year-old Elise stayed with Niels Bohr and his wife. Upon her arrival, she started working at the Physical Institute in Stockholm. Elise continued to communicate with Han through slow mails. One Christmas, her nephew, Otto Frisch, went to visit her in Sweden. He was also a physicist and a student of Niels Bohr. While Frisch was there, Elise received a letter from Han. The letter consisted of the results of Hahn and his colleague Strassman's experiments. The results said that the irradiation of uranium with neutrons yield barium. Basically, the experiment produced barium from uranium. Interestingly, barium's atomic number is 56. Half of uranium's 92. Ironically, the splitting of the uranium atom was thought to be impossible. Meitner and Frischke had interpreted the Hahn-Strassman results as uranium fission. Fritsch went back to see Bohr and told him of their findings. Bohr told them to publish a book about their interpretation. However, on the way to the U.S. for a conference, Bohr could not contain his excitement. Upon accidentally leaking the information before the book was published, everyone now knew of the, mirac the miraculous discovery. Now the issue of whose hands this power was in was on everyone's minds for scientific and political reasons. Leo Slurd convinced pacifist Einstein to tell the U.S. to start trying to produce a fission bomb because the world would be at risk if Germany made one themselves. The top secret Manhattan project was then created to build an atomic bomb.